Good evening and welcome to this meeting of Troy City Council. It is Monday, December 4th at 7 p.m. You are in Council Chambers. My name is William Lutz, President of Council. We will begin tonight's meeting with the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance given by Mr. Twist. Please stand. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you that we can gather and just ask that you will watch over our city as the holidays approach. Just be with all of the families that might be traveling, be with all of our first responders. We just ask for safety this holiday season and allow us all to have more generous hearts to those that are less fortunate. We just ask that you be with us this evening in our decisions that we might make. And we ask that in your name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Twist. Mrs. Knight, will you please call the roll? Mr. Twist? Here. Mr. Pierce? Present. Mrs. Marshall? Here. Mr. Schilling? Present. Mr. Roselle? Here. Present. Mr. Whit Mr. Whitten? Here. Mrs. Snee? Here. Mr. Phillips? To excuse Mr. Phillips. Second. It has been moved to excuse Mr. Phillips by Mr. Twist, seconded by Mr. Schilling. Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Roselle? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mr. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Phillips is excused. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. We will begin tonight's meeting with two public hearings. The first one on Ordinance 051-2023. We will kindly ask Mrs. Knight to please read the ordinance. Ordinance number 051-2023, ordinance changing the zoning of inlot numbers 11560, 11561, and 11562 in the City of Troy from Miami County zoning of A2 General Agriculture to the City zoning of R4 Single Family Residential District. This is part of the land known as the Swink Annexation. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. If there is anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on the ordinance, you are invited to come to the podium. Please give your name and address and take as much time as you wish to consume. Seeing none, we will close the public hearing on Ordinance 051-2023, and we'll move into the public hearing for Ordinance 052-2023. And we'll ask Mrs. Knight to please read the ordinance. Ordinance number 052-2023. An ordinance changing the zoning of parcel number DO8096100 in the city of Troy from R4 single family residential district to OR1 office residence district. Uh, this is located at 1304 West Main Street. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. If anyone in the audience wishes to speak for or against the ordinance, the ordinance. you are invited to come to the podium, give your name and address, and take as much time as you wish to consume. <laughs> okay. There you go. Seeing no one, uh, no one coming up, we will declare uh, this public hearing on Ordinance 052-2023 closed. This time, we'll entertain a motion. To move to go to the executive yes. session. I move that we go to the executive session to confer with legal counsel concerning disputes that are the subject of pending or imminent court action. Like that. It has been moved to recess into executive session for the reasons of pending or imminent court action. The motion made by Mr. Roselle, seconded by Mr. Pierce. Mrs. Knight, will you please call the roll? Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Roselle? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Motion is approved. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. Uh, for those of those in our audience, we're going to recess into executive session. We will return hopefully as shortly as possible. Mr. Lutz, whenever you are. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will entertain a motion. I move that we come back into normal session out of executive session. Second. It's been moved to uh, return to regular session by Mr. Rozell, seconded by Mr. Schilling. Mrs. Mrs. Knight, Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Rozell? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. 
This is Marshall. Yes. Motion is adopted. Thank you, Mrs. Knight, and thank you for all those in attendance who stuck around. Um, we'll move on to the summary of minutes. Mrs. Knight, will you please read a summary of the minutes of the last meeting of Troy City Council? Minutes of Council, November 20, 2023. A public hearing was held on ordinance, ordinance number 048-2023. Committee reports. Buildings and Utility Committee, Committee, Utilities Committee recommended that the legislation be prepared to authorize an amendment to an agreement for electric generation and transmission supply services for city facilities that will take the agreement through December 31, 2026. Finance Committee uh, recommended that legislation be prepared to approve the 2024 budget by the preparation of the appropriation ordinance and to approve funding for uh, the Troy Development Council, Troy Main Street, and the Troy Recreation Association. Personnel Committee recommended the legislation be prepared amending the salary structure for uh, part-time and seasonal employees for adjustments uh, to reflect the Ohio minimum wage increase. Streets and Sidewalks Committee recommended legislation be prepared approving the vacation of a 12-foot wide alley of record between West Water Street and Washington Street. Committee of the Whole provided a report uh, regarding uh, council meeting as a committee of a whole and going into executive session. Resolution number R59, 2023, funding to the Troy Development Council for 2024 was given first reading and was adopted. Resolution number R60, 2023, approving funding for Troy Main Street for 2024, first reading and adopted. Resolution number R61, 2023, <coughs> funding for the Troy Recreation Association for 2024 was given first reading and was adopted. Resolution number R62-2023, enter into a generation supply agreement amended related to uh, electric generation supply for city facilities, first reading and adopted. Ordinance number 048-2023, rezoning and approval of the general plan of the Somerset Reserve subdivision was given public hearing and second reading. Ordinance number 049-2023, vacating an unimproved 12-foot wide alley was given first reading and was adopted. Ordinance number 050, 2023, amending uh, the salary structure for seasonal and part-time employees, first reading and adopted. Ordinance number 051, 2023, rezoning was given first reading. Ordinance number 052, 2023, uh, rezoning of the Swank annexation was given first reading. Ordinance number 053, 2023, appropriating funds was given first reading and was adopted. Uh, following various comments, council adjourned at 7.50 p.m. Second. It has been moved to approve the minutes by Mr. Twist, seconded by Mr. Siever. Mrs. Knight, will you please, call, please call the roll? Mr. Roselle? Yes. Mr. Siever? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Minutes are approved. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. At uh, this time, we'll go into committee reports. We have four committees. We'll begin the committee and economic development committee and Mr. Schilling. Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. Uh, let's see. We, uh, this committee members, uh, Pierce and Schilling, met November 27th to review the recommendation from the Troy Planning Commission uh, that a 58.093 acre portion of the property known as the Eastern Hugel annexation be rezoned from the county zoning classification of A2 general agriculture to a city of Troy plan development, residential PDR, and that the general plan of the Somerset Reserve subdivision plan development residential be approved. The committee supports the recommendation of the Troy Planning Commission and the findings of staff and recommends that ordinance uh, number 048 2023 be adopted to rezone part of in lot 11550 to city plan development residential uh, PDR and that the general plan of the Somerset Res Reserve subdivision plan development residential be approved. This is respectfully submitted by Mr. Pierce, Mrs. Snee, and myself, Jeff Schilling, as chair. Thank you, Mr. Schilling. Are there any comments or questions on this report? Seeing none, we'll go to the Law and Ordinance Committee and Mrs. Snee. Thank you, Mr. President. 
Committee members Sievert and Phillips met November 27th to consider establishing a moratorium of 180 days on the granting of any permits allowing adult use cannabis operators to establish within the City of Troy. A moratorium would allow staff time to review and make recommendations of adequate regulations on this issue. It is the recommendation of this committee that legislation be prepared establishing a moratorium of 180 days on the granting of any permits allowing adult use cannabis operators to establish within the City of Troy. This committee supports emergency legislation as the state issue becomes effective on December 7th. And this is respectfully submitted by Mr. Phillips, Mr. Sievert, and myself as Chair. Thank you, Mrs. Sneed. Are there any comments or questions on this report? Seeing none, we'll move to the Parks Committee and Mr. Whitten. Thank you, Mr. And Mr. Whitten. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this committee met on November 27th to review a recommendation of the Board of Park Commissioners that Council authorize the execution of a Memorandum of Understanding between the City, the Board of Park Commissioners, and the Troy City Schools. The MOU sets forth the initial understanding between all parties concerning the transfer of certain properties between the City and the School District and information related to the City's use of certain school property that will be defined further as part of the Interagency operation, Operating Agreement. Other other legislation <laughs> will be required at a later date regarding conveyance of real property. It is the recommendation of this committee that legislation be prepared authorizing the Director of Public Service and Safety and the President of the Board of Park Commissioners to execute the Memorandum of Understanding with the Troy City Schools so that the MOU can be executed without delay. Consideration of emergency legislation is requested. And this is respectfully submitted by Mr. Rizal, Mr. Schilling, and myself as Chair. Mr. Wood, Thank are you. there any comments or questions on this report? Seeing now, we'll go to the Streets and Sidewalks Committee, and we'll kindly ask Mrs. Snead to do this uh, report instead of Mr. Phillips, since Thank he's you. not here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Committee members Phillips and Pierce met November 27th regarding the North Elm Street resurfacing project. The project is estimated to cost $500,000. The, the city received a grant of approximately $265,000 to help offset the cost. The project area is North Elm Street from the city limits to West Main Street. It is the recommendation of this committee that legislation be prepared authorizing the Director of Public Service and Safety to advertise for bids and enter into a contract for the North Elm Street resurfacing project at a cost not to exceed $500,000. And this is respectfully submitted by Mr. Pierce, myself, and Mr. Phillips as chair. Thank you, Mrs. Snee. Are there any comments or questions on this report? Seeing none, we now open that up for audience comments on items on the agenda. We have three resolutions and six ordinances on the agenda. If you wish to speak to any of those items, you're invited to come to the podium, give your name and address. You have two minutes to speak, and Mr. Kirby is our timekeeper. Hi, I'm Steve Hendrickson at 975 Dickerson Drive. Uh, I'm here. I saw your... your proposed agreement with the, with the city schools and in it the MOU says they're, they're going to demolish the buildings and leave them shovel ready whatever that means. I was just wondering if anyone has thought about contacting a developer to see if a developer could find some economic value in those buildings before you knock them down. We, we've heard before that there's no affordable housing in Troy, and maybe this might be an opportunity. That they're, obviously, they're not going to be, you know, 3,000 square foot condos or anything, but with some creative developing, you might be able to find some way of putting people there and getting some tax revenue rather than have a shovel-ready piece of ground. You can put your shovels in, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what else you're going to do with it, but it's just a thought that you might be able to get some agreements, sell the, sell the buildings for a dollar or something to some developer, give them some constraints in terms of making sure they do something useful with it, and uh, and move on from there. Just a thought. Mr. Chair. Mr. Tiddington. I can answer that. Um, so, so this is the second time the MOU has come uh, in front of the park board and the, uh, and the council. Um, and uh, at the time, the, uh, the first time, that it came two years ago, maybe. Um, uh, pardon me, it's uh, been at least a couple of years. Um, 
the city, the Troy Development Co uh, Council, and the, uh, the schools all entertained, uh, took, had tours with several developers, uh, as well as the Japanese school actually looked at them uh, to come in from, uh, from where they're currently located. Uh, so we have attempted uh, to look at redevelopment projects and we've gotten no interest, which is okay. why we're where we're at now. Okay. I know Dayton has done a great job of re rehabbing lots of their old buildings. I know these are old buildings. Uh, they got to be fairly structurally sound because we've got children in them every day. So I just thought maybe it might be worthwhile while we're reopening that because this isn't a contract, it's just a MOU at this point. So anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you, Mr. Hendricks. Anyone else wish to speak this evening on any of the items on the agenda? Seeing none, moving to the resolutions, we'll ask Mrs. Knight to read the first resolution of the evening, resolution R63, 2023. Resolution number R63, 2023. Resolution authorizing the Director of Public Service and Safety of the City of Troy, Ohio to advertise for bids and enter into a contract for the North Elm Street resurfacing project. Cost is not to exceed $500,000. Uh, there will be an offset of grants in the amount of $265,000. First reading. Second. It has been moved to suspend the third reading rule by Mr. Wooden, seconded by Mr. Twist. Mrs. Knight, will you please call the roll? Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Wooden? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Rozelle? Yes. Second. The three reading rule has been suspended. It's been moved to adopt the resolution by Mr. Twist, seconded by Mr. Schilling. Are there any final comments or questions? Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Rozelle? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Resolution is adopted. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. Mrs. Knight, will you please read the next resolution for the evening, Resolution R64, 2023. Resolution number R64, 2023. Resolution authorizing the Director of Public Service and Safety and the President of the Board of Park Commissioners of the City of Troy, Ohio, to enter into a memorandum of understanding with the Troy City Schools regarding future educational and recreational opportunities for residents within the Troy City School District and declaring an emergency. First reading. Mr. Letts, I would ask to this go to a second reading based upon, um, I don't believe that, that there is sufficient uh, people here to vote on that issue, nor do are there uh, with the recent comments that we could explore this a little bit further. Okay. That being said, this will be held over for a second reading. Mrs. Knight, will you please read the next resolution of the evening, resolution R65, 2023. Resolution number R65, 2023. Resolution authorizing the Director of Public Service and Safety of the City of Troy, Ohio, to enter into a settlement agreement and declaring an emergency. This is regarding the building at 112-118 West Main Street. First reading. Move to suspend. Second. It has been moved to suspend the third reading rule by Mr. Pierce, seconded by Mr. Wooden. Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mrs. Stee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Rozelle? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Move to adopt. Second. Second. Three reading rule has been suspended. has been moved to adopt the resolution by Mr. Whitten, seconded by Mr. Schilling. Are there any final comments or questions? Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Rozelle? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Resolution is adopted. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. Moving on to ordinances. Mrs. Knight, will you please read Ordinance 048, 2023. Ordinance number 048, 2023. An ordinance changing the zoning of 58.093 acres, part of in lot 11550, in the city of Troy, Ohio, from the Miami County zoning of A2 General Agriculture 
to a planned development residential, PDR, and approving the general plan of the Somerset Reserve Subdivision Plan Development Residential. This has been recommended for approval by the Troy Planning Commission. This is the third reading. Second. It's been moved to adopt the ordinance by Mr. Twist, seconded by Mr. Pierce. Are there any final comments or questions? Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Roselle? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Ordinance is adopted. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. Mrs. Knight, we please you the next ordinance, Ordinance 051-2023. Ordinance number 051-2023. An ordinance changing the zoning of N lot numbers 11560, 11561, and 11562 in the city of Troy, Ohio, from the Miami County zoning of A2, General Agriculture, to the city zoning of R4, Single Family Residential District. This is part of the Swank Annexation, received a public hearing this evening, has been recommended for approval by the Troy Planning Commission, will be a subject of a committee meeting this coming. This following Monday. Thank you, Mrs. Moore. And in consideration of the public hearing tonight and future deliberation by the Community and Economic Development Committee, this will stand as the second reading. Mrs. Knight, will you please read the next ordinance of the evening, Ordinance 052-2023. Ordinance number 052-2023, an ordinance changing the zoning of parcel number D08096100 in the city of Troy, Ohio, from R4, Single Family Residential District, to OR1, Office Residence District. This is located at 1304 West Main Street, has been recommended for approval by the Troy Planning Commission, received a public hearing this evening, will also be the subject of a committee meeting this coming Monday, and this is the second reading. And in consideration of a public hearing tonight and future deliberation by the Community and Economic Development Committee, this will stand as the second reading. Mrs. Knight, will you please read the next ordinance of the evening, Ordinance 053-2023. Ordinance number 053-2023, an ordinance appropriating funds necessary for the various departments and offices of the City of Troy, Ohio for the year 2024. This is the adoption of the 2024 budget. Second reading. Move to adopt. Second. We need a move to suspend. Sorry. <laughs> move to suspend first. Second. So move to suspend the three reading rule by Mr. Sievert, seconded by Mr. Schilling. Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mrs. Marshall. Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Roselle? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Wooden? Yes. Mr. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? No. Move to adopt. I'd like to make a statement first, if that's okay. We, if we do have enough to, uh, to do that. We have so seven. We have, we, have, we, have, we have it suspended, correct? We have seven. We have, we have seven, seven to suspend. To seven. Mm -hmm. um, at this time, I would traditionally ask for any. Uh, we'll ask for a motion to adopt, and then I'll ask for comments so you can make a statement then. Moved to adopt. It has been moved to adopt the ordinance by Mr. Twist, seconded by Mr. Storwin. Are there any comments or questions? And Mr. Pierce, the floor is yours. I appreciate it. I appreciate the work of the administration on the budget. Thank you, guys. Um, but the, the one thing that I have difficulty with is, and we talked about this back in April, is the flock security cameras um, with the the ties that flock security has to matrix partners which also owns jinghua investments based in china and jinghua is a provider of data mining interactive marketing and software services uh, also featuring the Akron beacon um, talking about that uh, i oppose this legislation will be voting no due to the connection with the Chinese Communist Party and the service terms agreement. They'll allow for the worldwide access of the data for business purposes. Even though we own the data, we still sign the license agreement that permits access globally or worldwide. Are there any other comments or questions? I'm just Mr. Curi just curiosity, that? Sam. That then who do we get to fill that? Role. If we don't use that company, who who are we to use for the Fox security cameras? Or whatever you're objecting to, what company do we use if we don't sign that contract for them? I do not have the answer for that. The main competitor that they have is Motorola, and I believe Motorola is also has ownership 
that's not within sight of this country either. And you also realize that if we don't pass this by the end of December, nothing gets paid in January, correct? So I appreciate the hard work of each person on this. I'm committed to the okay. budgeting process. This is one thing that if we if we need to fix, we can. We have a motion on the table that has been properly, properly seconded. Are there any final comments or questions? Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Rozell? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? No. Nope. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Ordinance is adopted. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. Uh, Mrs. Knight, will you please read the next ordinance of the evening, Ordinance 054-2023. Ordinance number 054-2023, ordinance imposing moratorium for a period of 180 days on the granting of any permits allowing adult use cannabis operators from establishing with the city of Troy, Ohio and declaring an emergency. This is the first reading. Move to suspend. Second. It's been moved to suspend the third reading rule by Mr. Twist, Twist. Second. seconded by Mr. Pierce. Mrs. Knight, will you please call the roll? Mr. Rizal? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Move to adopt. Second. The three reading rule has been suspended. It's been moved to adopt the ordinance by Mr. Twist, seconded by Mr. Sievert. Are there any final comments or questions? <laughs> Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Rozelle? Yes. Ordinance is adopted. Thank you. Mrs. Knight. Mrs. Knight, will you please read the last ordinance of the evening, Ordinance 055 2023. Ordinance number 055 2023. Ordinance amending Ordinance number 061 2022, appropriating funds necessary for the various departments and offices of the City of Troy, Ohio, for the year 2023. Uh, this is the only reappropriation that the auditor has submitted for your 2023 first reading. Okay. I do have a question. Does this, Does this need to be adopted as an emergency ordinance since the year runs out I didn't hear. within this, 30 days? So uh, uh, budget right appropriation, appropriation ordinances are automatically emergency. They become effective immediately. Okay. It just wasn't denoted on the... It doesn't. It doesn't we, need we to be. Okay. okay. All right. And they're all positive, right? Okay. Let me just revenue. Thank you. Okay. Second. It has been moved to suspend the three reading rule on the ordinance by Mr. Twist, seconded by Mr. Pierce. Mrs. Knight, will you please call the roll? Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Rizal? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Move to adopt. Second. It has been moved to adopt the ordinance by Mr. Twist, seconded by Mr. Whitten. The three reading rule has been suspended. Are there any final comments or questions? Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Rizal? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Ordinance is adopted. Thank you, Mrs. Knight. Moving on to communications and announcements. Uh, Mayor Oda. I have nothing this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Director of Public Service and Safety, Mr. Tinnington. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. A couple of things to point out from the items of interest. Uh, first of all, uh, West Main Street Improvement Project Phase 2. Uh, that was bid, opened, and the project has been awarded to Milcon Concrete. Uh, they were the lowest bidder. They are the lowest and best bidder, uh, starting with lowest. Uh, they bid at uh, just under $6.8 million. Council authorized $8 million. So we do have some uh, contingency, but uh, with any hope that'll go as smoothly as uh, phase one for the most part has gone. Um, so that was uh, relatively good news in the bidding war, uh, world. And uh, I would be remiss if I did not remind everyone that uh, with Christmas coming on December 25th, uh, not only are the city 
facilities closed uh, the uh, 25th and the 26th, uh, but refuse recycling will be delayed one day, meaning if you're picked up on Monday, you get picked up on Tuesday. More importantly, though, if you're a Friday pickup, you will be picked up on Saturday. And that is going to be true for not only uh, Christmas, but also New Year's Day. Oh, yeah. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tennington. Director of Law, Mr. Kerber. I have uh, nothing this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kerber. Uh, City Auditor, Mr. Friggy. Thank you, Mr. President. I have nothing. And thank you, Mr. Friggy. Do any council members have any comments tonight? Do any city staff members have any comments tonight? It is now time for audience comments. If you wish to address council on any topic, you are invited to come to the podium, give your name and address, and take as much time as you wish to consume. Drive and I want to address the property on West Main. I find it awful funny that we finally do something once certain people go get deposed. As a citizen, I look at it, there's two reasons why you don't want to be deposed. One, you have something to hide, or you're afraid you're going to commit perjury when you do it. I think it's sad it took that. And as far as it being closed, the only body agreed to close it were people they have influence on. You had independent studies. They come back and said, was they okay to open it? And you didn't do it. This is supposed to be a transparency government, and I don't see it. Now, that's my complaint, but I do want to say thanks for the change of the signals. Battle of All right. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Any other residents have any comments that they wish to submit to make at this time? Bradley Baring or Crestwood Drive. Um, don't have any complaints tonight, thank goodness. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I would be remiss, and I'm surprised Mayor Oda didn't notice them. But there are three young ladies out here tonight in our audience who are here on a government project from mine, Ben Sutherley's, and Mrs. Marshall's alma mater of Miami East. And I would be remiss if I didn't welcome Haley Haley and who, what is it? Gracie. Gracie to the podium tonight, and um, I think it's great that our young genera younger generation are here to learn about government, because the future of our city and our nation and our state are truly in their hands, so let's give them a welcome tonight. Welcome, students. We're happy to have you here. Uh, anyone else wish to address council this evening? Kelly Snyder, 935 Atlantic Street. Um, could you give us a summary of what, um, I guess, the executive session with the, um, the building? Could you give me a summary of like what that means now? I would defer to Mr. Kerber, uh, only because we have some very legal requirements on what that executive summary uh, can come out of. So I would feel more comfortable, Mr. Kerber, sure. giving a a quick synopsis that he's comfortable giving. Well, uh, there, there's a lot of moving parts on this, uh, Kelly, and somebody has to go first. And uh, um, uh, in fact, there's a continued uh, mediation to clean up the loose ends, so I can't give you anything definite. And it's still, we are still somewhat within the confines of the court's mediation order where we have to keep things confidential, but that won't be that way forever. Okay. Uh, okay. So at this point in time, it's, it's, uh, we still have to get everybody to yes, uh, and uh, I think that um, you know what the city's prepared to do. Uh, there was legislation passed this evening to mm -hmm. um, pull the trigger when that time or if that time comes. Okay, so this was just kind of like a first step in. It would be, it, hopefully, the potentially, end of the it, it could be the final step so long as everybody comes to the table and, and signs off on it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Snyder. Anyone else wish to address council this evening? Seeing none, we will adjourn this meeting. Thank you for attending. Our next meeting will be on Monday, December 18th. Have a safe trip home, everybody. <laughs>